Cephalexin is an antibiotic medication used to treat a wide range of bacterial infections. It is part of the cephalosporin family of antibiotics and works by stopping the growth of bacteria. It is commonly used to treat ear infections, skin infections, urinary tract infections, and respiratory infections. Cephalexin is a safe and effective medication when used as directed, but there are certain side effects and precautions that should be taken into consideration. This ultimate guide to cephalexin will provide you with a comprehensive overview of its uses, benefits, and potential side effects. You'll learn how to take cephalexin, how it works, and what you can do to reduce your risk of experiencing side effects. With this information, you can make an informed decision regarding the use of cephalexin. What is cephalexin? Cephalexin is a semi-synthetic antibiotic active against a wide variety of bacterial infections. It is a cephalosporin antibiotic belonging to the family of drugs known as first-generation cephalosporins. Cephalexin is commonly used to treat a wide range of infections caused by bacteria. These include ear infections, skin infections, urinary tract infections, and respiratory infections. Cephalexin is often used in conjunction with other antibiotics, such as amoxicillin, when fighting a bacterial infection. Cephalexin works by preventing bacteria from forming their cell walls. This prevents the bacteria from gaining nutrients and growing. Without nutrients, the bacteria die off and the infection is cured. While cephalexin is effective against bacterial infections, it is not effective against viral infections. How does cephalexin work? Cephalexin works by preventing bacteria from forming their cell walls. This prevents the bacteria from gaining nutrients and growing. Without nutrients, the bacteria die off and the infection is cured. While cephalexin is effective against bacterial infections, it is not effective against viral infections. The cephalosporin family of antibiotics is broken down into two categories, first-generation cephalosporins and second-generation cephalosporins. First-generation cephalosporins, like cephalexin, have a narrower spectrum of antibiotic activity compared to second-generation cephalosporins. Cephalexin is active against a wide variety of bacterial infections, but not viral infections. Uses of cephalexin Ear infections Ear infections are often caused by bacteria. Cephalexin can be used to treat ear infections caused by bacteria. Skin infections Skin infections, like burns or boils, can be treated with cephalexin. This antibiotic can also be used to prevent a skin infection after certain types of surgery. Urinary tract infections Urinary tract infections can be treated with cephalexin. Respiratory infections Cephalexin can be used to treat bacterial infections of the lungs and airways. Benefits of Cephalexin Cephalexin is effective against bacterial infections. It is effective against a wide variety of bacterial infections. It can be used to treat a variety of infections, from skin infections to ear infections. Side effects of cephalexin. Allergic reaction. A small percentage of people who take cephalexin experience an allergic reaction. An allergic reaction occurs when the body mistakenly identifies the antibiotic as harmful and produces antibodies to attack it. Gastrointestinal disturbances. Cephalexin can cause gastrointestinal disturbances, including nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Blood disorder. Cephalexin can cause a decrease in the number of blood cells, which can result in a blood disorder. Liver damage. Cephalexin is metabolized by the liver, so it is important to have regular blood tests to check for liver damage. Kidney damage. Taking cephalexin for a prolonged period of time can lead to kidney damage. How to take cephalexin. Age of the patient. When taking cephalexin, it is important to consider the patient's age. If the patient is less than 12 years old, they should only take a half dose of cephalexin. Preceding antibiotic therapy. If a patient is taking cephalexin after another antibiotic therapy, they should take a double dose of cephalexin. Cephalexin and amoxicillin. If cephalexin and amoxicillin are prescribed together, the patient should take a full dose of cephalexin and half dose of amoxicillin. Precautions when taking cephalexin. Contraindications. Cephalexin is contraindicated in patients who are allergic to cephalosporin antibiotics. It is also contraindicated in patients who have a blood disorder or take drugs that cause blood disorders. Drug interactions. Cephalexin should be used with caution if the patient is taking other medications or supplements. The patient should consult with their doctor to determine if their current medications can be taken with cephalexin. Pregnancy and breastfeeding. Cephalexin is not recommended for use in pregnant or breastfeeding women. What to do if you experience side effects? If you experience any of the side effects listed above, you should consult with your doctor. 
they may be able to help you reduce the side effects of cephalexin or suggest an alternative antibiotic therapy. Alternatively, you should avoid taking cephalexin if you experience any of the side effects. This can help you avoid serious complications from taking high doses of cephalexin. If you are concerned about the potential side effects of cephalexin, you should consider taking an alternative antibiotic. There are many antibiotics available that have few or negligible side effects. Alternatives to cephalexin. If you are concerned about the potential side effects of cephalexin, you should consider taking an alternative antibiotic. There are many antibiotics available that have few or negligible side effects. Amoxicillin. Amoxicillin is an effective antibiotic that treats bacterial infections. It is also less likely to cause side effects than cephalexin. Azithromycin. Azithromycin can be used to treat bacterial infections caused by a wide variety of bacteria. It has a low risk of side effects, making it an effective antibiotic. Erythromycin. Erythromycin is another antibiotic with a low risk of side effects. It is most effective against streptococcus, staphylococcus, and pneumococcus infections. Ciprofloxacin. Ciprofloxacin is a fluoroquinolone antibiotic that is effective against a variety of bacterial infections. It only has minimal side effects, making it an excellent choice for antibiotics. Can cephalexin be used in pregnancy? Cephalexin is not recommended for use in pregnant or breastfeeding women. It should be avoided unless necessary. Women who are pregnant or breastfeeding should only take antibiotics when absolutely necessary. If antibiotics are needed, they should be taken as early as possible. Cephalexin is a safe antibiotic that is effective against bacterial infections, but it is not recommended for use during pregnancy. There is no evidence that cephalexin is harmful to a fetus, but there is no evidence that it is safe. There are many other antibiotics that can be used that have no potential risks to the fetus. It is best to avoid cephalexin unless absolutely necessary. Thanks for watching.